Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Soham bringing you another reaction video here today, or rather tonight. I don't know, for whatever reason, it's about 2.45 a.m. I just cannot fall asleep. So what better than to listen to your favorite music, or rather my favorite music, and that belongs to Breaking Benjamin. They are one of my favorite bands of all time. I would say when I was first getting into music, they were one of the five bands that really just were on repeat for me. So System of a Down, Breaking Benjamin, Red, Three Days Grace, and like Avenged Sevenfold were were the choices for me. So Breaking Benjamin, I listen to them to this day. Their songs are on repeat. I love them that much. They were so formative for me. And, you know, I think they stand the test of time. And so we're going to be reacting to The Diary of Jane today. It's not my first time I'm listening to this. In fact, it's probably my 1,000th time listening to this song. So when I'm reacting to this, it's not a first time, it's a thousandth. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit about like the details of the song that I love in particular and I want you to kind of focus on. And before we get into it, if you're uh, even listening to this portion of the video, pay attention to the guitar melodies, pay attention to the vocal melodies. And the reason why I say that is because when I listen to the song, I often will listen to you know, one or the other, or potentially both. And when I'm singing along with the song, sometimes I sing the vocal line or sometimes I sing the guitar line back. And it really just depends on whatever mood I'm in. But the fact that it's even possible to sing along using the the vocal instrument or the guitar as an instrument is insane, in my opinion. Every single instrument in this song has its place. You'll hear the bass pronounced. You'll hear the drum do his fills and pronounce those well. Of course, the vocals, of course, the guitars, every bit of this composition is beautifully arranged and it's just a damn good song. So I'm, I'm a simp for Breaking Benjamin. I'm a simp for this song. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hopefully I can uh, convert you guys into some Breaking Benjamin fans. Also, you can tell that this is an old, old song based on how low quality the video is. I think it's literally like 240p or something like that. Just listen to that melody. So much power when the whole band comes in. Oh, I get goosebumps. I get goosebumps every single time. I swear. Oh, <laughs> one thing here also that I want you guys to take note of is how unique Ben's voice is. And maybe that's just my own bias because I have listened to this band so much that I can easily pick pick out that it's his voice. But in my opinion, Ben is one of those singers that if you had him sing any random part of any other song with, you know, very uh, high accuracy you could probably pick out that it is him if you have the knowledge of his vocal uh, tonality and the way he sings so he in my opinion has a very unique voice and it's just iconic for all the right reasons His screams are just iconic. Wasn't that a damn good chorus, guys? Like, for real. Like, admit it. It was a damn good chorus. To me, this song is a 10 out of 10 song, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be simping religiously. I hope you guys agree. <laughs> This 
listen to the drums. Oh my god, I love that so much. We're gonna go back. Listen to this drop. Head banging the entire song. These screams are crazy. And listen to this iconic guitar solo. how like the melody and the chorus and everything is just rising in its intensity it's just so epic it because we went from the previous i think one or two choruses into this in this into this final chorus and it's still somehow building and building the intensity is there the emotion is there you can hear how viscerally he's screaming his emotions out and i don't know that's to me like i'd never heard music like this before this was like my introduction to you know, metal maybe even, like the screaming, that kind of thing. Because System of a Down, the music that I listened to by them, I, I had thought about it as a little bit more tacky than actually metal, uh, which, you know, forgive me for even saying that because it is sacrilege to talk down about System of a Down. I'm not talking down when I'm saying that. I'm just talking about how I'm describing them uh, as I would have when I was, you know, whatever age I started listening to that kind of music. But Breaking Benjamin did a damn good job at just screaming out their emotions like i feel what they're feeling and one of my lifelong dreams is to be able to sing along to these songs and not have to change the uh you know the uh, key of the song at all and you know i'm eventually i think i'm able to do that reasonably well with uh, certain breaking benjamin songs and just singing along with him the power that his voice has it is it is catharsis is the best way i can describe it so let me go back i've I've ruined too many special moments. I need to go back for you guys. It is a perfect song. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I have nothing bad to say about this song, and I dare you to find something bad to say about this song. I will fight you in the comment section below because, my God, just every part of that. And <laughs> I went this whole reaction without actually talking about like any of the meaning of the song, and I don't know if I'll do much of that right here right now because clearly you can tell that it's an emotional song about how this guy wants to be recognized in his you know soulmate's life essentially and how does he best do that you know how does how does he enter the diary of jane is he going to be able to is he allowed to will he make it there in time 
and being able to do that accomplishing that yes or no whatever emotion that he's feeling is exaggerated and then amplified by the music and you know i feel like a lot of times in our own lives we feel that we long for somebody we want to be a part of their story and maybe we're a smaller part than we expect and all of a sudden we're left with some kind of rage and that's kind of what this song it resembles uh, a lot of different things but that is like what i'm resonating with right right now at this moment i'm just I always find it amazing that when you listen to music that you've been listening to for years, no matter what, because it's art, you can interpret it in different ways, but over time, your interpretation of that art changes. And I feel like how I would have imagined the song previously is a different version of how I imagine the meaning of the song to be now and will likely be different when I listen to the song in another five years. Uh, realistically, I will not be listening to it in another five years. I will be listening to it tomorrow. So, you know, uh, <laughs> my definition may change much more quickly than in five years time. But I hope you guys enjoyed that song. I hope I didn't pause too much and ruin the actual experience of listening to it. I encourage you to listen to the song on your own and add it to your playlist, add it to your workout playlist, add it to your heartbreak play- playlist, do all of the above and also subscribe if you haven't already. I am I'm in need of some subscribers. (laughs) Anyways, I'm getting to that point of the night where it's about 3 a.m. I'm about to be too too delusional to have a coherent sentence come out of my mouth. So I'm going to end the video here. I appreciate you sticking with me till the very end. Take care. Peace.